We're going to talk some college basketball right now because right. Uh, on the line we've got uh, Denver Post uh, writer, Denver Post uh, beat writer for CU, and this weekend CSU, uh, Tom Kensler, who is covering both the Pac-12 conference tournament and the uh, Mountain West Conference Tournament. Of course, CU eliminated last night. Their yeah. season is over. CSU continues playing tonight. They're going to go against San Diego State. Tom, you with us? I am. Via hey, Skype, Tom, Tom hey, Kensler. Tom. I see Good Tom. to see you. You hey. actually know how to use Skype, but uh, Tom, next time you come on, have some palm trees or one of the <laughs> well, casinos in the background. you got a door behind you. <laughs> I, I'm going to give you the, the Vegas landscape. But uh, it's, um, I've got the backlighting there. It wouldn't, wouldn't have worked. <laughs> Tom, let's talk about CU first, the fact that their season is over, a loss to Oregon last night. And, and Look, we know what the problem was all year long, injuries and, and, and maybe not real good chemistry of this team. And Tad Boyle has apologized to everybody, including the fans, a hundred times about this season. Uh, but I want to talk about the guy who beat them last night, uh, Joseph Young, that point guard from Oregon. What a fantastic player, the Pac-12 player of the year. But I don't think a lot of people know about this kid because he plays all his games on the West Coast late at night. How yeah. impressed were you with this kid? Well, I think that's a lot of it, and I think you know Larry Scott. He he wants to be on at all times, different times of the week, late night, and I think it kind of hurts the league a little bit uh, when you're looking to, you know, when you're on the East Coast. Uh, you know, if you want to stay up till one in the morning, you can watch Oregon play. But uh, I grant you that. Uh, I think he's one of the most unknown, really good players in the country. Uh, he can do it all, and I'm not an NBA scout, but uh, I take a look at it. I take a look at him. Hey, Tom. We've got a big game tonight. If CSU doesn't win its tournament, what tournament will they be in uh, in the coming weeks? NCAA. They're, they're I in. They're, I think they're in. Of course, I was yeah. wrong four years ago with uh, CU when you know most of us thought they were going to be in the NCAA and they got snubbed. But uh, you know, I was looking at Joe Lenardi and some of the other bracketologists, and uh, there's different uh, difference. Uh, of opinion on that. Uh, Lenardi has him a number nine seed uh, and not on the bubble. Uh, but Jerry Palm is probably the other uh, most widely uh, recognized bracketologist, so to speak. He has him an 11 and on the bubble. So we'll see. I mean, they would help their cause if they win. They have 27 victories. Their RPI is 25. That's really good. Now, how do you keep them out uh, with so 27 I, wins? I, I don't get that one. Well, I, yeah. yeah. So I, I think they're in good shape, but, uh, you know, we'll see on Sunday. Speaking of tournaments, just to short, go back to see you for a second. Are they going to play in the LPGA, that uh, BMI <laughs> or uh, TWA? Are, 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 are there still some of those tournaments? Out? Is she, have they got any kind of chance to be in the NIT yeah, or yeah. something else? The, C, the CBI does take uh, some teams with losing records, and I guess they would be a candidate, but but uh, I wasn't out there, but Boyle reading his quotes uh, since I was at the CSU game last night. Uh, it sounds like, you know, he says the season's over now. What does he, what does he mean by that? Uh, he, had, he had told us early in, the, early in the week that he would take any tournament. Uh, the last one, the CIT that you were talking about, Woody, that's for me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you're going to that one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, aren't there a couple where you have to actually pay to go? To go to. <laughs> yeah, they'll, hey, we'll take you, but you got to pay us like $250,000. If I could just ask uh, uh, another question quickly yeah. that's a bigger picture question. How you go there for, for these tournaments, is, is that an advantage or disadvantage when you have the Pac-12 and the Mountain West Conference? And uh, I mean, it, does that create a great basketball atmosphere, or is it too much of one thing with with the, with the tournaments, postseason tournaments being in Las Vegas? Well, if you walk time. around the if you walk around Vegas or the Strip or whatever, you see more people in different um, you know college shirts and all that. Uh, so I think there's a little bit of there's a little bit of energy, chemistry, et cetera. But there are a spread of spread around town a little bit. I remember a couple of years ago, I was going to have to go to uh, to uh, the WAC tournament because DU was in it. And, uh, you know, they lost, so I never got to cover them. But uh, it seems a bit much, but I think it's probably good for the town. Tom, don't go anywhere. I want to tell everybody first, uh, before we continue talking to you, that uh, Tom Kensler's appearance on Skype is brought to you by Papa John's, the official pizza sponsor of the Colorado Avalanche.